Good morning everyone, it's Joker, and today we are back with another slime video. And the second half of Jubilee, so we've got boss battle here. Thankfully there's only two stages because it's a turn limit. However, it is a turn limit and it is Earth and it is wonky as crap. So before we go into the teams and the runs, I do have a bit of information to go over with you regarding this stage. So if we go into the information and look at what they do, what these units individually do, they are weak to magic because they want you to use the new earth meta, right? And they're all magic damage. They increase their own crit rate until the end of battle by 100%. So they're pretty much always going to crit you. And then they also nerf oranges both ways by damage and uh, meter by 50%. And they also decrease your alt damage by 80% pretty much until the very last turn of the fight. So if you happen to have an alt, do not send it. You will do shit for damage. Just hold on to it until the very last turn of whatever stage you're in, whether it be one or two. And then Shuna over here increases all allies crit resistance and pierce resistance by 100% and also physical attack resistance until the end of battle by 40. So what this means is that you don't want to crit and you don't want to pierce, and so you're not bringing the light team, you're not bringing the hero, you're not bringing fire millum, and you're also praying to god you don't get a natural crit or natural pierce because you will literally do one damage. One. Not a hundred, you will do one damage, even on a 200% orb. If you happen to pierce with that orb, you are going to do one damage. So there will be times when you're playing and you're like, why didn't my ult hit for anything? Instead of doing 60,000 damage, it did 400 damage. It's because you pierced, it's, or it's because you crit, or it's because you did both, and you, and then your 60k alt did one damage. So, please keep that in mind. Now, um, I don't think anything else changes between 1 and 2, just besides them being more difficult. Uh, okay, they do increase their attack and their alt gauge, so they do have slightly different effects. Uh, it's just piling on top of what they had. Guard rate, guard power, so... They're, they're quite tanky, obviously. You're not going to do too much damage to them. There is also something else to learn that I did, and I found out during my testing, is that boss battle 1, where, uh, where is that? Here it is. We'll bring that up. So here we go. Here's a scoring session from an older run. You can see that there is a maximum damage cap at 15,000 points, which, if you do this math, it's 300,000 damage. So if you do anything over 300,000 damage, it's not going to matter. That's You're capped at that. What does matter, of course, in turn limit battles now, is how much HP you have left. You can see that this multiplier versus this multiplier is drastically different. So you could do, you know, maximum points for damage, but if you have, like, 50k health remaining, your score is going to suck. So this is really important that you have free-to-play Aaron or, God forbid, made Rimuru to raise your health um, cap at the very end of the fight. Because it takes into account how much health you have the remaining of the fight. And if it is the increased amount, you will, you know, push this uh, ally HP remaining score up drastically. And that is how you will really increase your points, because you can't do any more damage. You can only have more health. So, that is one very important thing to keep in mind damage cap and more HP and if you needed another signal of proof for damage of shit versus HP let me pull over these two examples right here and we can take a look at it so uh, duh, duh, duh. just maximize this so here we have 95,000 score this is my currently my highest score on boss battle 2 we did 418,000 damage and we got 20.9 out of it we also had 108,000 and a half remaining HP with 54.2. So if we take a look at this versus this other run over here, we did 446, so we did more damage. We got a little bit higher score, but we had significantly less health for 45,000 health. So 45,000 points, 54,000 points for having 108 versus 91. That is a more significant jump than doing what, like, 30k extra damage and getting 2,000 points out of it? Not even that. So, there is your proof that having more HP at the end of the fight is important. 
So with that information said, let us now jump in to all of our different runs. All right, so here is boss battle one, the seven turn limit fight. And we're gonna use, you know, the entirety of the new earth meta just to show, you know, what happens when you do use this. So uh, currently my highest score 58 two uh, with this team. Now again, there is that damage cap limit, but it really doesn't matter. What you're really focusing on is making sure that every single unit at the end of the fight has that extra HP buff from Eren. So generally what you're going to really try and shoot for, even if you're not running this entire team, but if you have Eren and you have a healer, which I'll show uh, in later um, clips, that as long as you have all five units with that max HP cap, you can actually have an okay score, right? You don't have to do but tons of damage to, you know, at least get an okay score in this. So here, turn one, we're going to orb change with Aaron because it's built for that. It's two oranges, four greens, so Aaron changes those oranges into a full hand of greens. And then we're going to bring in a few units. We've got Valentine, we've got uh, Mirren in the back, so we're going to work on getting their alts. Remember that they are nerfed by 80% until the very last turn so you know it's good to build up to them but maybe not too quickly that way you can take advantage of you know full hand sends um, but definitely don't send an alt before the last turn it's just gonna hurt your score probably so now we're going to poison them and then start stacking poison we're gonna bring clayman in so he can also get a few stacks in he's also going to taunt actually i don't think we taunt here yeah i think we just stack poison so now, what we're going to do here is we're going to start trying to make sure that we can put that extra HP buff on Clayman and Adelman because I really don't want to use them too much. They don't really do much up front. You know, they do have the, the taunt and the poison, which is cool, and it's fairly not great. We get a super counter, though, for 10,000 damage, which is great. But again, we're taking like one damage, right? The stage does not hurt you. So what's important is that you get that HP buff on those two units and then get them in the back and never see them again for the rest of the fight. That way you can use Benny Maru, reset that skill, put the health buff uh, from Mirren on your front three, being these three units, Aaron, Valentine, Mirren. And that way at the end of the fight, you have Adelman and Clayman in the back with the HP buff and full health because they took no damage. And then you have the front three who also have the HP buff and also have the HP, um, the heal, because they took little damage uh, by meaning like five. But they also have that increased cap. So the cap lasts for, I think, three turns. And the heal also lasts for three turns, I, I think. So here we've got four turns left. We've got the heal. We've got the increased HP cool everything is good so now we're gonna get Mirren's alt here we've got valentine's alt because we used her skill to uh, take away um shuna's alt which gave her alt which is good it's what we need so really the most important thing is you get the two single targets it's fine you can see that they have the attack nerf on them though so now we're gonna take them out and then we're going to swap in adelman and clayman for the two alts and we're just gonna save those for another two turns until it's we're ready to nuke so they're gonna come in now we're gonna use Benny Mario we're gonna reset some skills here and then what I'm gonna do is I'm going to poison again just for that little bit extra damage and then we'll send these greens and we'll get a decent amount of points back eventually because I'm thinking do I want to send all the Adelmans or do I send the Claymans we're going to send the, Ad the Adelmans just to get them out of there. And, eh, eh, not, it's not terribly great, but oh well. We do have counters up, so those are doing damage back. If you have Golem, that can work. They're not guaranteed, but they can do additional damage for you. <clears throat> Alright, so here, we need some points. Right? Yes. Oh, I didn't get the, uh, the health buff on these two. Hmm. Okay, well, I could increase my score more then. I have the health buff on the front three, or I will, because I'll have enough points for it. So, let's do... Hmm? What are we going to do here? 
So obviously this is the last turn. So now our alts are not nerfed. So you can see that we no longer have that nerf symbol on the alt. So we're going to bring Valentine in and Mirren in for Clayman. Just making sure of a few things. <clears throat> Valentine and Mirren still have the HP buff and the heal. So I guess we're just going to run with that. So we're going to add extra poison and then we're going to uh, use the stat swap and then the magic buff. So now we're just going to nuke here. So ideally, this run was not perfect, right? I didn't have the HP buff on three of the units, which could have increased my score quite significantly, probably into like the 59,000 range, um, had I played it a little smarter and paid more attention. But, you know, this team is not very self-sufficient in greens. You have one orb changer, and Benimaru does not change, but we still got so far, my highest score right here. So we did 292,000, almost damage cap, just a little bit shy. But we had 119,000 health remaining for 23.8. So, and that is much more significant than getting that extra 400 points of damage uh, for hitting that damage cap. So there's boss one. Not the perfect run, but it is a good example of what can and cannot happen during it. So let's move on to the same team for boss two now. Alright, so shout out to one of my Discord helpers, uh, Negative Edge. He recommended I use this team in case you don't have Clayman or Adelman. Uh, you're not actually using Aaron either, you're using Made, made Goddamn Rimuru. You know, my most favoritist unit in the game. But since his skill is technically a better version of Aaron's, it does work on this team very well because Aaron, I think, is a 20% HP increase. Uh, let's check that. Yeah, 20% and Maid Rimuru is a 30% while also giving defense. So you'll take less damage, you'll have a higher cap of health that you can then heal back. We've got Mirren and we've got Benny Maro here, so it is, you know, some of the Earth 2.0 meta. Arguably the two best units in it. Um, Trainee is also here because for instant heal, Mirren has the uh, overtime heal. The hero, um, you know what, I'm not really sure why she's here. I use her rewind, but I don't ever use her for anything else. Um, so I'm still kind of in a mystery about that, but I got a run recorded, and it's only about a thousand points less than my current um, best run, so it obviously works. So let's go ahead and throw that up on screen right here. Um, but, I mean, th the idea is still the same. You want to have made Rimuru's buff on all five units at the end of the fight with as close to maximum HP as possible. So we're gonna show this off in boss battle two. So we've got 10 turns to play around with. And since we don't have Aaron, we don't really have a good turn one opening. So I'm just gonna send the two oranges and pray that we can get a good, maybe one or two greens after this, which we get one. So we have a five hand of greens, which is not terrible. That should get us the protection gauge. Uh, but since I have no idea what to use with the hero, and I haven't had time to ask him, I'm just going to use uh, the rewind here. Is that the best idea? Probably not, but it it works out, I guess. So we're going to rewind here. We get extra protection gauge off those greens, which guarantees that we're going to get the um, uh, protection trait for Benny Mario. We've got the rewind kicking in, of which it is a very crappy hand, so a whole bunch of nerfed oranges is not great. But, you know, it is what it is. And so we've used her one good skill, because we obviously can't crit um, this stage, because they, they have that crit resistance for 100%, and even the hero lowering it by 30 still means you're going to do crap for damage if you use that skill. So I think she's here literally just for the rewind, and then that's it. So we're going to send these nerfed oranges, get them out of here. Maid Rimuru has type disadvantage, so the less that he's on screen, the better, because he will just take enormous amounts of damage especially if he gets hit with an alt. So, but we have used his skill, right? So we've increased the HP, we've increased the damage, so we're gonna heal back what we've lost on two of three, well, technically three of the units. And then we're also going to swap, I think, him out. Uh, that way, you know, he just doesn't take any more damage than he needs to. After we use the reset for the heal and the HP buff. So that's kind of the important thing right there is making sure that we can always have that at the lowest cost possible. And we do get him out of there. And then we start working on sending some blues, trying to get Benny Maru back online since 
some of our units don't have um, counterattacks now. The hero does, but she's type neutral, so she's not going to do the most damage. She's also taking a fair bit of damage because they're always critting you. So, you know, keeping people at full health without type disadvantage, without, you know, extra defense or whatever is difficult. So here, we don't really have too much to use. We're going to swap in Valentine for the hero, and then we're going to, I believe, just send the trainee orbs? I think so. Or do we send the greens? Looks like we send the greens for points, which is probably better because we need to heal a little bit. We definitely need to heal Valentine. Trainee has a counterattack, but no one else does, and they only hit her twice, so that's cool. Alright, so we got 68 points here. We're going to heal, and then we're going to continuous heal. That way we can get Valentine back up to, hopefully, full HP. Her HP buff is about to run out, which means that we do have to reapply it, but we have six more turns, and she takes all of those attacks, plus the ult, which is not helpful to keeping her at full HP. But the heal back comes in, and she's essentially topped off now. So now we just need to worry about keeping the HP buff on extra units. We have an entire hand of blues, which works out very well, because now we have double protection gauge, which means that we can reset skills twice in the same turn if necessary. Not that we really need to. Uh, so the one thing about this team is that I'm too, I'm so worried about making sure that people are topped up and they have the HP buff that I'm not really paying attention to how many ending points we have because at this end of this fight I don't have enough to use the uh, the mirror and stat swap for extra damage on our nukers and I only have two alts either so I'm, I'm really just focusing on keeping everyone healed and at maximum HP more than anything else and I mean I guess it worked because we were only down by a thousand points on my score so things can be said if you know I get more greens or you know management was a better thing then maybe I could have had three alts and the stat swap and HP but you know that's asking quite a bit and it's micromanaging this team to hell essentially making sure that everything falls into place which I know is what you know jubilees are normally about is making sure every little thing happens the way you want it to and then resetting forever and ever and ever until it does not but that's uh, just not what I want to do <laughs> especially not with this team we get some sweet super counters in here which definitely help out with our damage but as you can see we haven't done jack right 124 125,000 that's it's not great but now we have three turns left, so now what we can do is we can reset the cost of that heal, and then we can go ahead and put the HP buff on everyone on the front line, right? Rimuru is about to lose his, but this will apply it again. And then we'll heal back what, you know, we lose, technically. And then Rimuru can go the fuck away. <laughs> so he will have full HP and the HP buff. Val or, um... Da, da, da. The hero in the back has full health and the HP buff, and those won't leave. And so now... Uh, oh, we sent Trainee away. Okay, so we can hold on to that. Because here, we're going to make sure, hopefully, that we can get the HP buff on Mirren and Valentine again. Cause, actually, on Valentine, because she's the only one without it. Uh, which, again, is what I'm shooting for. Counterattacks are cool and all. There's a heal, and now we have 89 points, we have two turns left, and we don't have enough to skill reset, which is unfortunate. So, I think I... do I bite the bullet? No, I just send the four blues, okay. So next turn, I have 100 points, I have the reset. So, what I can do here... <clears throat> is use the HP buff, and then heal. Uh, Valentine with Trainee, who's going to come in from the back. So, we'll use the reset, right? Yep, we'll use the reset. We'll reset the HP buff. And then we can put that on Valentine. Alright, and then we can send Maid Dreamer away. He's not full health, but, you know, he's okay. He's not totally topped up. Again, it's fine. So now, we have to make the decision, because we don't have enough points. Do we heal? Or do we attack buff? What's going to get us more points? And it's going to be the heal. So we end up using that, uh, the trainee heal, because we should have enough points. The trainee heal and the 
Uh, ooh, and we use the continuous heal afterwards to make up for the damage we're going to take from these two alts. So, everyone is topped up pretty much as much as possible. Only one is Rimuru, who has just a smidge of health that's missing. So, we're as topped up as we can be here. We just haven't done really any damage this entire run. We're going to be just over 200,000, and uh, you can get much higher than that if you're playing your cards right, if you have the attack buff, if you have triple alts, you know, if things go your way. But this run wasn't the most perfect thing in the world. But the final ending score ends up being 94-9. And looking over uh, my current high score is 95-7. So less than a thousand points away from my current high score. So it's not a bad strategy if you don't have Clayman, if you don't have Adelman. Um, you can definitely use some other options and pss, break out the stupid maid Rimuru. Um, and he can make things work for you. So there is um, options for boss battle too. Now let's move on to a few teams that don't have, you know, Benny Maru or Earth 2.0 at all. And I'm going to try and give you some kind of option that will give you points. All right, so let's try this with the Golem. You know, guard means you're going to take less damage, and he does have a 60% chance to counter, which means you can do some additional damage. It's just that you're not resetting skill costs, which is kind of an issue. But we're going to pretend like you don't have anyone from this new Earth meta. Not even Mirren, not Benny Maru, not Adamant, not Clayman. You only have free-to-play Eren, and you're still trying to do a reasonable score on Boss Battle 2 is what we're going into with this team. And I'm going to show you that you can, right? I mean, yes, my units are literally all level 100s except for that Rimuru, but again, like you don't need to do a butt-ton of damage. You just need to have a lot of HP. So instead of the after every turn heal that we're getting from Mirren, we're just getting an instant heal from Trainee. But we do have to play around with it because we're not resetting the cost of those skills. And I do want to make sure that everyone is nice and topped up by the end of the fight. So now that that's out of the way, let's go ahead and bring this over. <clears throat> and I'm also speeding this fight up because I'm sure you guys don't want to sit here for another 10 minutes watching this on a not optimal team. <laughs> So, orb change turn one. We're going to bring in Valentine. We're going to bring in Trainee for Earth Millum. So, we put Earth Millum up front because she does have an orb change. It's, you know, to blues, but, you know, if we can get the Golem back online with it, then cool. And she also has a defense skill, which means that we can take less damage. Oh, this is, turn this is boss one. Sorry. My apologies. This is boss battle one, not two. I mislabeled it. So, uh, regardless, you know it's still a team that you can run, right? So here, there's not really much we can do. We have five orbs of Valentine, which is great, because we're going to get her ult, and then we can just send her away. <clears throat> so here, one damage, so that we literally don't take anything, really. So it's just to make sure that we can get that HP buff on everybody. So we're going to swap out, and then we're also going to swap out Alright, so now we're going to use the first time, we're increasing our HP cap, and then, next turn, we'll bring Trainee in, and we'll heal that all back, and then we'll send him away. I don't even think I use Reamer's attack buff. I think he's here for that reason, but we don't use it, because it's more important that we have that HP. Alright, so Trainee will come in for Eren, because she will be back up front later, so I'm not really worried about healing her up, but... Uh, Rimuru and Milam are now HP buffed and fully healed, and they're going to take one damage, so I'm not too concerned about leaving them. So let's go ahead and start swapping them out now. We can get the Golem online to give us even more defense, not that we need it, but we can do some counter attacks now. Or we could save it, you know, whatever works, but we decide to use it here. And then we're going to send the greens. And now we just need to work on getting a trainee ult more than anything else. So there's one damage there. There's a counterattack. Another counterattack with one damage. So now we can safely get Rimuru out. So now both of our backline units have full HP, technically, and the HP buff, which means all we have to do is worry about keeping our people up here topped up, which is what we just do. So we had enough points to use the heal and the extra buff, uh, HP buff. So now... That should last for the next three turns, of which case it will be the end of the fight. And now we have a nice full hand of trainee, and we have our ult. 
I believe. Yes, we do. All right. So, cool. We, like, it'd be cool if we could get Aaron's ult. It's not really important, though. Um, but <clears throat> I just want to make sure that we have enough points to literally use everything here. So, oh, this is last turn. All right. So, never mind. So, we're just going to use the magic buff, and then that's it. Because I'm losing my track of my brain. So, there we go. We have the HP buff on all five units. Everyone is practically at full HP because we're still taking one damages here and there. <clears throat> so, honestly, this couldn't really go any better, all things considered. And we get 55-9, which, you know, my score, my highest score is, what, 58? So, you're not too far behind. Yeah, 58-2 versus 55-9. You're not that far away from me by using this team. Again, yes, they're level 100, but it's more about the HP, not the damage. We did 224,000 damage there. It's not a lot, okay? So that's boss battle one with none of the new Earth units except for the free-to-play Aaron. So now let's pretend you're in the worst case scenario and you don't even have Valentine. So let's, uh, let's check that out. All right, this is the last clip of the video. So we've got, you know, boss one and boss two done with the new meta. We've got boss one done with the golem team. This is going to be boss two with Soka and literally no big time earth units, right? We're rocking Raymaru, Earth Millum, free to play Eren, Wind Val, and Trainee, all right? These are all, besides the hero and Raymaru, which you can put anyone in there. It, that's not the point. I'm talking about battle units here. Literally no major Earth units that are not in the general pool, right? Rimuru, Milam, Aaron is free, Windval, and Trainee are all in the general pool. Soka is not, but the Golem is, so you could offset and put the Golem instead of Soka, but, you know, I wanted variety of the teams a little bit and the protectors. So we're going to show what this can do on the Boss 2 team. So we can reset skill costs and we can guard, but we cannot counterattack. And so again, the name of the game is making sure all five units have that extra HP buff, and then we can heal it up with training. And now that we can reset those costs, it's a little bit easier to manage our skill points. So turn one, also we're speeding this up because you don't want to sit here for this. Um, so we've got Wind Val, right? She is changing to greens, which is cool, even though we're not really, this team doesn't really run on greens. Soka is buffing oranges technically, but she is a healer which means that you have two healers now that can stay on rotation if you need to. She does have type disadvantage, which is kind of scary, but as long as you can use what you need and then get her away, it's not really that bad. So we have increased the HP of all three of these units. We have used Valentine's heal as well. So, I mean, they're mostly topped up. And then we're going to use Valentine's orb change for nice hand of green. We're going to get her out of here now, and she will probably never see the light of day again because <laughs> I don't want her to take any unnecessary damage from type disadvantage and now we're going to you know send these greens and then next turn we can reset the skill costs and then start working but again this is you know we have nine turns left of this so it is just building alts doing damage making sure everyone is healed up at all times essentially so Let's go ahead and heal and defense here. Defense, I think, is for two turns. <clears throat> All right. So there's that. We're going to send... What are we sending here? Aaron's or oranges? We're going to send trainee cards. Okay. Well, whatever. <laughs> okay. So we don't need to use the buff yet. We still have quite a bit of game left before we need to worry about making sure these people have um, max HP. So Aaron's about to lose that buff, which she just did. So now she's back into the mortal realm of HPs. Uh, we do have an alt for her, which I guess is cool, but uh, we're not going to use it because it's nerfed still, right? So we're just going to send these five oranges because, you know, this we're, we'll get something out of it because the oranges are buffed a little bit, so we're kind of offsetting the nerf, but not really. But it is enough to, you know, get us a little bit of stuff back. So here, we're going to use the HP buff, and then we're going to heal again. And we're just going to make sure that we can continue that. So we reset the skill cost. We're guarding now. So then on turn, like, what, 7 or 8, we're ready to do that 
um, HP buff again, and then the final turn we're ready to heal whatever damage we've taken to make sure that we are close to full as possible. And I am not worried at all about damage here. Like, we're gonna do actual crap damage. But it's the HP, like I've been saying, that's important. So, we're just gonna keep going as we are. So we have two turns left now. And we're just going to work on getting as many points as possible. So here, there's a hit, there's a hit, there's a hit. We don't have the HP buff anymore, but because everything's reset, right? We now have HP buff and we have a heal and we have defense to make sure we don't take any... Uh, we can take less damage from these two alts. And then we're going to guard any normals that come in our way. And then we're going to send these two alts in this hand of nerfed oranges. So there's an AoE, there's a single target. That's a terrible, terrible hand. We're doing 155 damage. However, we don't really take that much damage either. So 3,000 there. Shuna does 1,200 damage. And there's a guard. And now we're done. And we did shit damage. 123. We got 6,000 points out of it. But we had 110.8k remaining HP for 55,000 points, which puts us at 79.3, which is not a terrible score considering we're not using any big time earth units or any of the new meta besides a free unit. So there are options if you can build it. Now, if you don't have any of the earth units at all, like you don't have Milam, you don't have Valentine, you don't have Trainee, just use what you can. Aaron is free. As long as you have a healer, you can attempt to make this work by trying to get that buff on a few of the units and healing it back. So let me know if this video helped you out. I know it's limited because we have, we have to use a certain team, but hopefully this gives you enough of an idea of how to build the team and what you need to accomplish to get an okay score. Let me know in the comments what other teams you use that would help you score high in this stage if you don't have any of this and I didn't cover it. But that's it for me. This is the last Jubilee before the anniversary, so we'll see how that goes. But take it easy, guys, and I will see you later.